Hey everyone, welcome to the third lesson of the webhooks course where you will learn how responsive webhooks work. The theory behind responsive webhooks is that when a request is made to a webhook module, a response can be sent back to the originating source that made the request. This can be achieved using the webhook response module. As you can see in this scenario, I have a custom webhook module which is listening for data on a webhook that I've already created. In order for this webhook to be able to send data back to the source that makes a request, I need to attach a response webhook module to it. Just like that. As you can see, the only editable field in this module is the body. The body is what we will be sent as a response to the webhook request. What you have to do first is send some data to your webhook to determine the data structure. Click on Redetermine Data Structure so the webhook can start listening for new data. Here in Postman, I'll paste the webhook I created in this field and then enter some key value pairs that represent the data I would like to send. Then I'll switch the request type to post in order to make a post request. Let's click send to make the request. Let's go back to the webhook module in order to make sure that the data structure has been determined. As you can see, it was successfully determined. Next, let's open the response module in order to edit the body field. Here you can create a string that has some elements mapped with the data received from the webhook. Let's say hi first underscore name. I heard that your favorite band is band underscore name. That's awesome. Now let's save the scenario and execute it once. Let's go back to Postman and make the same post request once again. As you can see, the response is now sent back and it includes the data that was sent with the request I made. So to recap, the webhook response module can be used to send data back to the originating source that made a request to a webhook. Mappable elements from a webhook module can be used to create a response that contains data that the originating source has sent. And that concludes this lesson and the course on webhooks. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and happy automating.